Let me do that again. I just did a cracker. Hi, my name is Stephanie Hodges. I'm a producer for BET's 106 in Park. So what I do at 106 in Park, um, we get a rotation every single week. There are a couple of producers on the show, and um, I'm either in the chair, as they call it, and that means I'm producing from the control room, or I am uh, on the floor doing the format. It's Wednesday. We're at the CBS Broadcast Center. Um, on tonight's show, we're doing a Battle of the Sexes game, so we want Tyler Perry and his co-star to participate. So now I have to go up to the talent department, pitch it to them, so they can pitch it to Tyler. So hopefully, they like it. We'll see. So let's say you're Tyler. We're going to have a screen over his shoulder behind his back. We're going to pop up pictures, and then the host and the audience member, they have to give out clues. Okay. Okay, move on to the next picture. Boom, Beyonce. Okay. Oh. Okay. We'll do that. So okay. they're just trying to like reenact all these celebrities okay. to get him to guess. So it's basically controlling the show flow. When you're a producer in the chair, you're kind of like the Captain Kirk of the ship. You have to make sure that everyone is on the same page. If there's a change, if an artist is no longer coming, or if an artist has been added, you have to just kind of roll with the punches. So you really have to be um, quick on your toes because it's a live show. One minute on the clock, let's go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Go. Uh, I'm Rich and... Me. I, uh, uh, no, okay. okay. Uh, uh, Miss C. Oprah. There we go. Woo! All right, let's go, let's go. Uh, 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 ooh, uh, now I'll be wearing all kind of crazy stuff. Sometimes I, uh, blind wigs and, and I got a 25 Lady million Gaga. people. Woo! Woo! Uh, uh, shot it, run that, let, 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 so the format of the show is basically the blueprint for the show. So we all know the show is 90 minutes or two hours. You got 10 videos, the countdown. But then from there we get who are the guests on the show, what kind of fun games do we do want to do on the show, what video premieres we have on the show. So it's my job as a producer to make sure that that all flows. I decide when and where to play everything, how long we're talking to people, what we're talking to people about, what games we're playing. I get to do what I love every single day. I do a lot. Most times I work seven days a week and I feel like the only way that I'm able to survive all that on top of being a single mom and having a four-year-old that I take care of, um, only way I survive that is nothing seems like work. You know, when I come to 106, today was work. Uh, I'll take that back. Today was work because there was a lot going on, but I love what I do. I'm a creative person. It's a lot of fun most days, and my team is like a family. I've been here. I've been a part of 106 since the first season. Like, I used to sit in the audience when it was in Harlem um, with AJ and Free. Then I was an intern, and I came back as a PA. Like, I've been here throughout the whole history of the show. So, um, it's just like family, you know? Some days it's hard, but then it's all about providing good entertainment for the audience, you know? And that, that's what it is all about at the end of the day. So that's the only reason why I'm able to do all the things that I do, because I love what I do. And on the weekends, I sing at weddings, and that definitely doesn't seem like work, because it's four hours of singing and dancing, and that's what I love to do, too. So my career as a singer, I feel like um, being here at 106 and doing that has definitely been an advantage to me. I meet a lot of people all the time, and uh, even, uh, even outside of all the connections that I make, I've seen people come, I've seen people go, I've seen the right way to conduct yourself on camera and off camera and the wrong ways. Like it really has put me at an advantage from my own singing career. I have a clear picture of who I am as a singer and what it is I want to do. And um, I produced my first music video, Miss Seely, which is on YouTube.com. Um, I produced that and I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been able to really look the way it looks if I didn't have like the knowledge and the, the the time management skills and the casting skills and even like uh, blocking out what shot was next, I wouldn't have able, I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't have the producer background. So I think it's really uh, put me to an advantage. It's going really good. I'm really happy with where I am and everything right now.
I see myself in five to ten years ruling the world. 